in this lesson, what we're going to do is pull in some of the photography we want to use and start building our general layout. So first things first, what I typically do is I'll open up Safari or Chrome or whatever happens to be the browser of choice for that week, and I'll usually do a Google search. So in this case, we're just going to look for a band poster, and then I'll choose images up here on the top. So I just want to see all the images available, and you can see right away that there are a ton of really creative band posters, which is part of the reason why we're doing this in our first exercise. It's something fun, it's something that will teach you how to use uh, brushes, textures, typography, photography, and, and use all these different pieces to create something fun that you enjoy. So what we're going to do right now is just briefly look at some different ideas that might be inspiring. And when I look at poster ideas or any idea for anything that I'm trying to research, I usually am looking at either fonts that inspire me, or I'm looking at color schemes that I like, or layout designs that I like. So for example, looking at this real quick, I like that it's not just straight horizontal text on this uh, waterfront poster. It's got kind of a, not, not quite a 45 degree angle, but you know, it's at an angle which adds some visual interest. This Lincoln Park poster, I like the color and I like that the guys are uh, kind of cut out. So what I'm going to do is things that I, when, when I find something I like, I either do one of a couple things. I'll either right click and I will save the image to like an ideas folder. So if I come in here and I'll make a new folder uh, and I'll just call it ideas, I'll hit save or what I can do is I can click and just drag an image straight over the Photoshop icon in my dock, hover until it comes up, hover until it comes back there, and then let go. And I dropped it right into my workspace. Now in Photoshop, the way you can scale things up, the shortcut is Command T or Control T on a PC. So the way you would find that, if you forget, it's up under here, Edit. And we're looking for Free Transform and that shortcut right there is Command T. So what it does is it gives me these little handles that I can start to drag this up larger. And Photoshop will let you skew an image, right? So we want to keep it proportionate. So what we're going to do is hold down the Shift key, and now when I click and drag, it stays uh, uh, in, the, in the right perspective here. So when I get it where I want it, I can hit the Enter key, or I can hit this little check mark up here to finish my transform and I'm just gonna start building in a bunch of layers here into this poster file just to start getting some ideas and things I can work with so I'll come back over here to Safari and uh, let's just kinda see what else we've got here things that inspire me this Mumford and Sons I kinda like how they've got um, this illustrative instead of a you know a photographic poster I like the illustration behind it so I'm gonna right click I'll save image as, and I'll throw it in that ideas folder so I can refer to it later. Usually I'd work one way or the other. I'd either save it into that folder or I would click and drag and drop it right into Photoshop for me to work with later. And I let go too soon. Let me try that one more time. Click and drag, hold, bring it back. Okay, so we could spend a lot of time researching and grabbing a lot of things. So what's best practice, at least for me, is almost to literally set a timer for maybe 10 minutes otherwise you can start to get overwhelmed with the possibilities and what you could do and all of a sudden you lose your entire day just looking for images or just trying to find inspiration for different things um, there's one I saw earlier oh here it is I really like this uh, this I don't know I just thought it was really cool so I'm gonna click on that right click Oop. save image as I'll throw it in that folder so I can refer to it later if I need to and in this case, I'm just going to throw it right into Photoshop. There we go. Command T. And then I'm holding down the Shift key. And I'm also holding the Alt key. By holding down the Alt key, let's see, if I just hold down the Shift key, it it anchors it to the top left. But if I hold down the Alt key, it scales out from the center. So just, I don't know, it's just faster. It helps me uh, scale it up faster. I'll hit Return. Or actually, in this case, the, my Enter key. Okay, and now you can see on the right, I've got my layers. I'm going to Shift click. So right now, layer 3 is selected. I'll hold down Shift, and I'll click down layer 1, and it'll select everything in between. And then I'm going to hit this little folder icon down here. And what that's going to do is put it into a folder. I could have also hit Command-G on a Mac, or Control-G on a PC. And now I've got my group, and I can double-click on this, and I'll just give it a name. It's really good to keep your file organized. We'll call it Ideas. Okay. And then now's a really good time to save. So Command-S, Control-S on a PC always save your work it should be like a nervous twitch that just happens so you don't lose anything 
All right, so the reasons why I like these, this blue color was inspiring. I also liked the, uh, just, I don't know, the organic nature of this is creative. This Mumford and Sons, again, I liked how the high contrast of this darker illustration against the white background. And then this Lincoln Park image here, I'm just gonna drag this up a little bit so I can see it. I liked that um, they've got, if you, if you look closer, the guy, so this blue triangle that kind of interacts, these layers merge together to kind of color them and uh, it, I think we're gonna probably take that approach on this poster. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that ideas and we're gonna pretend you'll have this, this photo uh, in, in, your, in, your, um, in your assets file that I'll provide for you. But I'm just gonna drag this image. We're gonna pretend like this is uh, an artist that's coming to a venue here and we've gotta make a poster for him. You can find this image in your downloads or this is on uh, a website called pexels.com, so P-E-X-E ls.com and uh, he's right here so what we could do is click on it and then click free download and then it'll bring up to this window I could right click and then save image to downloads okay so I've got that one and then I've got a couple other photos that I found in pexels.com that were inspiring that might work for this project we've got some guitars and then we've got this uh, soundboard here so what I'm gonna do with these same deal I'll right click I'll save image to downloads I'll click on this one right click save image to downloads so I'm starting to gather all my assets okay so we've brought him into our workspace and now what we're gonna do is in the next lesson we're gonna cut him out or isolate this photo so we'll, we'll crop him out uh, and that's one of the mo between layers using layers in Photoshop and making really good selections those are the two probably most critical skills you'll learn in Photoshop because once you master those you can really do just about anything and composite anything together so we're gonna go ahead and shut this down for this uh, for this lesson and the next lesson we'll dive into making selections and starting to work with all of these assets we've started to collect